Fuck, that was too tight. Oh, 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 oh,
on everybody it's been about two weeks since the competition so I've had a good amount of time to kind of sit down and looking back it was it was definitely one of the most competitive competitions that I've ever been a part of and I, and I knew that going into it so it was just a really stressful meet with everyone being so on top of each other and it could have gone anybody's way but snatches I was having I was actually having a really good time I was moving well I was feeling the energy in the room um, I was excited about being there I was excited about competing um, I was confident and everything 
everything was kind of going to plan, which I'm honestly very happy about because this is something I've been trying to work on within myself is, is just being present in the moment and, and being there to for the actual act of competition, for the actual act of competing, not just focusing completely on outcomes. But after that miss at 140, I did notice a little shift in my mindset. I did notice a bit more negativity starting to creep in. I couldn't really compartmentalize it and go into clean and jerks thinking it's a whole new ball game. I was I was still in the mindset of, oh, I'm, I'm down three kilos now. I'm down what I could have had. I'm going to have to make up for it now, if that makes sense. And, and that's kind of something everybody knows in the sport is to, after the snatches are done, what's what's happened, happened. You need to move on. But I couldn't really bring myself to do that. Started warming for clean and jerks. Clean and jerks were moving really well. Again, everything was going to plan. And I was slowly kind of getting out of that negative mindset. And, and the opener was solid. We opened higher than I've ever opened before. We were looking between 74 and 76 on the clean and jerks. It was, it was the right move to take 74 because a lot of people were going to take 75 and then we were going to see how um, how the cards were going to fall after that. But overall, I was in a very, I was still in a very good spot to fight for a podium spot. After the opener, I knew this was the moment I've been thinking about for like the last six months. This is the mo moment I made a whole video about. It's, I knew it was going to be the time to step up and instead of wanting to get out of it and reap the rewards after, I knew, I kept telling myself, this is everything you train for. Like, enjoy this moment. Enjoy when the pressure's on. And I was aware, it's not like I was unaware like I had been in the past. I'm like, why am I feeling this way? I just, I was aware that it was coming and I was ready to accept it. And I'd been excited about this. Thing. I just couldn't calm myself down enough, if that makes sense. I, I was over aroused. I been over anxious, over excited. And we saw the effects of me not being able to control my emotions. Just rest the jerks, especially on the 182 kind of panicked and tried to get it off me. I bitched out. So I remember that night just replaying that over and over and over in my head. It just, it really sucked because that 182 clean and jerk would have been put bronze in the total, so put me on the podium. I would have been in second place clean and jerk. Initially, obviously I was very disappointed in myself, disappointed with the outcome. Our whole motto of the trip this whole time was, I know this is cliche, it's not the destination, it's not the outcomes, it's the whole journey with it. And I kind of adopted that whole week, which made it better. I wasn't walking walking around on eggshells. I wasn't anxiously waiting all day. I wasn't able not to sleep because I'm just thinking about when I have to compete. I I will say for the, the whole week, I was really just soaking in the time I get to spend with the team, soaking in being in Vegas, soaking in the experience. I'm happy about that. I can look back at the week and say, you know what? I had a great week. I had a great experience. Not just 90% of the time was I waiting to compete. And then that 10% after and right after was amazing. In that moment, I kind of drifted away from that whole mindset. I was placing the value of myself and my worth in how I did, or and it was more specifically that last clean and jerk. It was, wasn't up to anybody but me to do it, just as when you're on the platform. And I failed, and so yeah, it really sucked, because again, I felt like not only let myself down, but everyone around me down as well. And we all went out to dinner after team dinner and on the strip, and I could just, I could feel the atmosphere at the table was not what I I envisioned, you know, I envisioned podiuming, meddling, walking away with medals and PRs and everyone's great, you know, we're gonna get a few drinks, we're gonna all go gamble, have some fun in Vegas, you know, like as a team and the vibes were just down. And I just felt like I was responsible of that because I didn't do as well and wants to have fun anymore. So, and that's, I don't blame them, but I know, it's just, obviously, but I don't know. So that was really sucked as well. So yeah, I was, I really hurt because I was looking forward to time with everyone. But looking back now, after having this time to kind of think about it, I wouldn't really want to have it any other way. I enjoyed, I really did enjoy competing. I really enjoyed the energy in the room. And, and it's not only that, it's I'm, ex I'm excited to go back to training. I'm excited to compete again. I'm, I know I'm hungry. And I, above all, I just, I love the competitiveness. I, I loved how everyone was on top of each other and it came down to who made lifts. And the people who made their lifts are the people who walked away with hardware and I'd rather go out uh, or go down swinging against absolute studs of the country and best people in the weight class than follow myself and kind of just ease my way to the podium, if that makes sense. Definitely a lot of positives to look back on. And then there's also, of course, all of the things I need to work on. A big, big learning experience. Every meet, you're gonna learn something about yourself 
of every meet, you're going to be challenged in a different way, and it's only just continuing to add experience onto your belt. Yeah, that's that. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you guys so much for the support along the whole series and everything. You guys watching the videos, you guys commenting, like it really uh, did cheer me up when I was. It was like 3 a.m. and I, I couldn't sleep and I'm checking and I just went and looked at YouTube comments and I, I saw some people commenting on the last video that I posted about how I did or on the community tab and so yeah a lot of a lot of positives take away I'm, I'm young this is a this sport is for the you're in it for the long haul it's not a especially all you younger kids that are younger than me too you're not where you want to be yet and you have all these youth and junior kids with clout it's a long game and you know this is this is I feel like we're, we're, see, we're finally um, seeing some grinders, some people who just aren't the most talented, aren't the most gifted, aren't the most liked. They're starting to make their way to the top through just fucking grit and, and work. And I think the fruits of everyone's labors are starting to show, which is beautiful. Just keep that in mind as well. But um, yeah, this is going to bring us to the end of the video. Again, thank you all so much for everything. Thank you for the support, all the comments, all the messages. I read everything.